What's happening here? It's your boy Loaded Lux. You know what's up when I'm rolling up. You're now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Live. Me. Real fans, real talk.com. Where Arthur Domus tricked young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stat. All right, what's going on, Trip Young? We back, balling for peace. Now, this is, this is a, a very special interview because you definitely going to get this work after this interview. But I got I got to go back right now, flashback Monday, because the first time I interviewed Lux was at BronxNet couple of years ago and we got a chance to chop it up and that was before the calico battle before the rematch with with mook before the hollow battle yeah. so yeah. now we now we back we talking dirty too man. Uh, yeah balling for peace well first we're gonna start with balling for peace and we're gonna get to the battles in a second we're gonna start with balling for peace what brings you to balling for peace um my man h2o for real h um you know he's been um doing these joints and um you know just gonna have a good time man i love the city i love my home so you know, that's why I do that. Now, are you, now are you going to be bowling today? No, nah, probably not, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's same, listen, I ain't going to lie. If bowling was my thing, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if they was out there bowling, you know what I'm saying? All yeah. Right. All right. Now, we're going to jump into a little bit of the music because you did come out to uh, Black Thorn a couple of weeks uh, to Haran's event in, in Queens at Black Thorn, and yeah. you performed there, and you definitely shut down the stage at that point. I know you were sick. But you still went up there and did your thing. I had to, you know, um, shit, keep them dates going. I'll keep my word. Um, did that talk dirty joint? That's that's the next project and on the way. Got a lot of dope music coming out on that. I mean, if they already didn't got beloved too. Uh, I think that was the one that proved that, uh, you know, they got that stigma that, you know, you come from the battle circuit, so you can't transition to make the music, which is a big misconception. They can go get the project, see that. Uh, I got Wiz Khalifa on there. I got Kevin Gates on there, Fat Trail. I got Gunplay on there. Um, I got Ab Soul on there. You know what I'm saying? I got some joints. I got Anthony King on there. Um, Winners on there. Dose on there. I got some joints. Mm. Right. And then you, you did you did put out now, Rihanna did put out the song, you don't get this work. You did the remix now. Did, yeah. I, did, did Rihanna give you the copyright on that, you gonna get this work? Cause that's yours. No, she didn't say the whole you gonna get this work, but I am on um yeah, some commercials, there's some different things floating around there where you gonna get this work. So you know we got all that copywritten, trademarked and all of that. So got lawyers on the case as we speak. You know, but listen, more importantly. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, your business is just a means to be here while we living. You know what I mean? So you got to take care of that, you know, just to, as far as the system is concerned. But on, a, on another note, you know, I mean, how proud are we back at the camp, though? You know, we believed in the sun, we was doing it, and, you know, it woke the world up to a degree. You know, people, you know, they, they say you're going to get this work, and I love it because, you know, hard work the only thing that work, man. Whatever the situation is, whatever you're doing, whatever your pursuit out there is, you got to work to get it in. You got to be willing to do what it takes. You got to commit. So, more importantly, that's 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 what I'm on. And you definitely been putting out a lot of music as of late. But I think my favorite joint is still is still uh, Santino. Like I think that I think that song was one of the hardest songs, and this is not just in music. Period. Like that song was so hard. Like that's still my favorite song to this day. But we definitely is it's definitely about beloved too, and. Now back into the into the into the battle ring right now. Who's 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 coming up next? Um, for me, as far as competition is concerned, I don't know that that part. I don't know. I just love what I do, and I try to like go out there every night and and, and when they see me, I'm giving my all. You know I me, mean? and if I haven't, if I ever fell short of that, um, you know, we went back, licked our wounds, figured out the game plan and how we could do it better. So that's my thing. That's that's a. I don't know who yet as far as, you know what I mean, but we working it out. People know who who been gunning for me, who had my name in their mouth, and, you know, it's come up in plenty of conversation. You know, listen, man, more importantly, I'm going, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to do, I'm going to do what it takes. Now, the person, I think the number one person, and this is not who I want you to battle, it's who I want you to kill, just because I don't like the fact that, you know, he tries to always turn this into a, a New York versus uh, St. Louis thing. And I don't even feel like he's really on your level. You know, like, I don't think it would be even close if y'all two battled. But I, I would just want y'all to kill Verb. He got my name in his mouth, right? Yeah, they do that a lot. It's cool, though. I love it. It's flattering and at the same time, you know, still sharp and still. You feel me? I'm on it. I'm on it. I truly am. And then, and then the other two names I'm going to throw at you, 
Jersey, Sioux Surf, and Arsenal. Yeah. Dang, you got two from Jersey, huh? You yeah. Those are the top top guys in Jersey right now. So, and I can't just put you in the ring against somebody who's not even on your caliber. Yeah, they got to be at least talked about. Um, yeah, like you know, I I've been asked about surf. You know, I don't mind us. You know I me. Mean? You know, it's, it's tough because it's like we know the sport. You know what I mean? And for me, what it is to go in there and do what it takes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you have relationships, I've learned, you know what I mean, to block out or at least try to center what's necessary, the space you have to be in to do the work, you know what I mean? But it's like going to a, you know, it's like they, they, they're still little bros, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And that's the relationship. Now, as far as the work is concerned, as far as, you know, what we do in there, that's a whole nother level. So, yeah, I mean, it can happen. All right, well, listen, that's we did, like, yeah, listen, we want to we want to know what's going on. You said, you with said the, all of that, Lodi, you said all of that. But you said at the end of what I wanted to hear, that's all I wanted. Well, out of, the, out of those three, who you want to kill most? Out of them three? Yeah. Damn, I mean, well, I got to do verb, man. I like, listen, you know, you know. Ain't seen us. That's, that's, that, that's what I. That's the one I really want to see. And yeah, like a couple of years ago, he was talking about the top five from New York versus the top five from St. Louis, and that never actually went down. But could you set something up like that through the Lions, then, where, where you or to be the captain on the on the New York team, and yeah, Verb has the like St. That. Louis, and then could we? And who would you put on your top on your team? Um, I don't know. My, my top five for New York dudes. Top five. Of, oh, all the New York dudes top five. I don't know cause that you will put to go up against to represent New York versus St. Louis. Like, look, let's see, I, I can't get on there. It would have to be like we on the brink of going in that thing. Like it would have to really, literally be like six months until the day of, or something like that that we know is coming up, and then I can give you my strong file. Look, this shit shoots and ladders, man. I'm not gonna lie. Should be up and down like the stock market. You know how it go. Yeah, definitely. Now, the last time, you know, after the last MOOC battle, you said from now on you was taking the gloves off. Does that is, so? Does that mean we're gonna see round three versus you versus MOOC, or is this just whoever anybody is gonna get it? Um, <clears throat> I mean everybody gonna get it. You know what I mean? As far as me going in there, and why I said uh, the gloves was off, I, like I see that personal. Lane is 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 up for grabs, you know what I'm saying? And people is respecting it. I mean, and they going with it. I can't act like that ain't the the, the playing field. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's what it is. And you can't cast pearls amongst the swine. You know what I'm saying? I can't take that. You know what I mean? Humble for the rumble approaching there. They coming to kill. So as far as um, that's that's bottom line at this point, but. It, you know, we still going to be tactical. We still going to think. We still going to put that thing together the way it's supposed to be done in, in Battle Rap's truest form of how to do it, you know what I mean? But, you know, I see how, how if that's what it takes to have the audience a little bit more attentive to what's being said, well, we'll use some, some key points that may be personal. But at the same time, we're going to draw from those a good conversation, not only to touch on you know, personal characters as far as my opposition, but it may, hence Calico, be relative to people in the audience as well, you know what I mean? So they need to hear. And if that's something that gets them like, well, then let's go for it. But um, as far as the me and Mook thing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a competitor. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, you know, that's me, you know, and, and my nature. And that competitive force, that adversity has been creating progress for me. So, you know, before the books is closed, you know, if... You know, it make it happen if, if Mook is up to it. But to say that it definitely does have to, you know what I mean? It don't. I mean, we, we as far as the record books is concerned, you know, we can't take nothing away from neither one of them. I think a lot of people have the first battle as being debatable. And then, I mean, you you know, you said you gave Mook the second one as well. But I think if there is a third one, it has to happen on Smack. And, you know, we, we, we spoke to Beasley last week. And hope about this whole it doesn't count if it's not on smack, which is why I think it needs to happen on smack. So if because I mean Mook is talking about some outrageous, crazy large numbers right now. So so if they can actually do that, I would love to see you guys have round three on on smack. 
But in the meantime, we do have uh, Summer Madness coming up. Um, have they have they talked to you yet about that? Yeah, they've been talking to me. They've been talking to me. <laughs> can, you, can you tell us the names they've been throwing at you? Come on, man. You got to give us the scoop, man. This is real fans, real talk, man. If the people want to know. No, definitely. I mean, I've been in conversation. I mean, listen. Because if you, if you avid, you probably know the conversations and what people have been talking about. So I love to keep you in suspense at this point. I mean, because you know it could either be one of those prospects, you know, potentially. Now, and you, and you said recently that before the Calico battle was a choice between either Calico or DNA. And you chose Cal Calico, which is worked out probably is better than you could have imagined yeah. that that battle as far as just like coming back for you and saying I'm still one of the kings of battle rap so but would you take DNA now um I don't know see here's the thing since I came back whether they know it and the other and that's the funny thing other than the MOOC battle, every battle since I came back has been one to check off the list that had to get done because away from the uh, side or behind the cameras, it's been talks in the air. You know, and I, I was hearing those firsthand. Like, so that's why all of those got done, you know, as far as from Calico on. So I love for it to make sense because, I mean, I mean, that's like anybody. If you're going off a hunch or you're going with your heart, that's how that go. Like, I'm not going around here just picking on people. I don't I don't want that, that type of reputation. I don't want that. It should be, you know, we even kill and, and you want to do something and I want to do something. And from there, may the best man win. But I ain't picking on nobody. Okay. Well, um, out, of the, out of the new guys, who's who's your favorite up-and-coming right now? Out of everybody doing anything? Uh, I like, uh, I always told people I like, Av right now, I have to say, I just watched the Av and Rum Nindy drunk. I have to say Av is is rookie of the year so far to me. Um, I can't give, I can't say that for B Dot as far as because that that have been like you know my other choice, but I can't say B Dot is a rookie to me. You know what I mean? I, I've been seeing him since last year. Just put it on, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. What about that battle, B Dot versus Loaded Lux? Um, now I've been asked that, and then they come back with the. I feel as though, you know, the B dot question comes up a lot because of the conscious angle and how that plays on it. Like I said before, the conversations for me have to be thought before. They gotta make sense. If 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 we battling, it's cause you take a position and I take up a position and we're gonna debate about well this is why I feel as though my angle is better. I feel as though you can't deal with me here because at this point, I haven't found that premise with B-Dot. I feel like we're on the same mission, to be honest. You understand me? Now, if we just talking skill level lyrically and all that, then I don't know if that's grounds for a battle because you already know what battles is at at this point. It's soul digging, so it's, you know, it's personal. So at the same time, I feel as though, and I'm being true, I have to be a true artist. I know a lot of people want to see a lot of different matchups because, yo, it's just him, him, man. They, they just want to see you kill everybody, basically. Now, all right, one last battle that I would like to see happen from you because he has been saying your name every so often. Every time he get a chance, he says your name is Disaster. Mm. Now, would you bat battle Disaster, and would you battle Disaster on King of the Dot? I can see that. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at that. Um, King of the Dot, I've, I've been trying to figure out where in my career I'm going to get to that. You know what I'm saying? I went over there, I hollered at him. And um, it was brief. I came to a battle. And, you know, it was just trying to figure out who and when. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that disaster does sound like a good name, though. Yeah. He has been talking. Because, um, I don't know. Because it, it would have been, I don't know, past day, I... Hollow battle on past day, so I don't know. I kind of. So that means Lux versus Disaster. No, look. <laughs> I'm listen. I'm never gonna say it's not possible. You know what I'm saying? Cause you already know. Everybody side eye and everybody in this joint. Like, yeah, I, I rock with you, but at the same time, I clip you too. So like, you know. We we gonna have to set that up to be the official real fans real talk called Loaded Lux versus Disaster, cause that's the battle that hey, that I really want to see. Hey man, listen. As far as I'm concerned, everybody get it. Everybody get it, man. Any given Sunday.
That's definitely what we like to. Oh, last question. So, what do you think about all of these clicks and battle rap? Like everybody teaming up and want to join and forces. Like, do you think this is good or bad for battle rap? Um, I I, uh, I think we can also always learn from one another. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel as though there's nothing wrong with you know coming together, seeing different people's way of doing things, and. and you know, forming like Voltron, so to speak. I just haven't found, me personally, anybody that, that's, you know, in that space that I like to go in. I just feel like it should be true in your creativity, and you got to find that. We got to, like, come together and really be as one putting this work together. And if it ain't going to be that, then the shit going to sound like we reading it. Yeah, I got you. And so nobody that you would do a two-on-two -two with? I'm not saying that that's impossible, but we got to... Have a meeting of the minds, you know, truly, and like really try to go there with it. You know what I'm saying? I um somebody asked me about the beat. That's um how about me and him doing a two on two? That would be kind of sick. Only thing is, B dot is in L. A. Uh, yeah, so to he one of y'all would have to either fly out and be for a little while. Cause you can't just jump nah, in the you can't. You know what I'm saying? We got the shit and build. It got the like I'm I'm. Once it go out there, it's out there. I can't get it back. So. All right. Well, look. We definitely appreciate you taking the time out, Lux. Like I said, it's been a couple of years since we last spoke, but it's always a pleasure chopping it up with you, man. Appreciate you coming on, man. You already know. Tell them I am Loaded Lux on everything, too. I am Loaded Lux.com, Twitter, Instagram. Follow the movement. It's moving. Real fans, real talk.com. Where Arthur Domus tripped young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. Sports, <laughs> gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com. Got it. Uh -huh.